our final clothespin craft is going to be making a little person, a little animal that can talk like a puppet. Hey! <laughs> hey guys, how are you? Sometimes it can be hard to cut circles if you're just taking your card and cutting. So one thing I like to do is draw a circle first. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now the circle that I drew was big to show you. I'm gonna actually cut a small circle out and this is just a regular three by five note card. So maybe your circle's about an inch tall. And so there I have it, my circle. I do have to keep in mind that this is a mouth that's going to be opening up. And so I can't just glue the circle like this. I'm going to have to cut a mouth. I'm not going to want to cut it straight across in the middle because if you think about our face, our mouth isn't right here in the middle. It's lower in our face. So about here. So you have two separate parts. And then what you'll do is you will glue on the side of the clothespin. And so you'll glue one side to the top, one part to the side of the bottom, and then you'll see it come together. Here's my circle glued on with the two parts. And when you open, you see it's like a little mouth. One thing I thought of was, why don't I give my little person a nose? Kind of like those Sesame Street characters. And so I just, chose a um, confetti pieces. <laughs> I just co chose a circular piece, but you can make it from paper. You can choose a button. You can, if you have those little pom-poms, you can put a little pom-pom on there. Have fun with designing. Um, I'm going to put some googly eyes on and then I'll show you how to add some hair. So with the yarn, you're just gonna cut a small piece I'm gonna try about, you know, this long. And let's see if this is enough hair's worth. It's how fluffy you want your fur or your hair on your little um, person slash animal. So I'm gonna wrap it around three of my fingers. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang the yarn behind my fingers so I can see it. And I'm gonna hold it tight with my thumb. And then I'll just wrap it loosely. Doesn't have to be because you do want to take it out eventually. So you've got your yarn around your fingers and then you want to very carefully slide it, your fingers out. So you've got a circle. What we're gonna do next is grab a tiny piece of yarn and stretch this out like an oval and tie it, tie a knot in the middle. So it almost makes like a little bow. So there's my knot. And I'll admit that was a bit tricky to do by myself. So you might want to get a partner, one person to hold, hold it out and one person to tie the knot. And then you see here the leftover strings of my yarn. I'm just going to cut it the length of these loops here. And I'll cut this string off too, about the length of the loops. And then this is the fun part. You get to stick your scissors into all of the loops and you cut through it. And it separates them out. And then you same thing, you flip it over and you cut it through all the loops of your bow tie. You might have to do it a couple times. Like here's one section and then I'm looking around and I see, oh, there's still a loop here. So I'll get my scissors in there, cut it and now I've got what can be crazy hair. And then I can pull it however I want. If I want it to be big and beautiful like this, or if I want to have it fall down like this, you can have it go down. It's however you want to have your hair. I'm just gonna make mine go wild because I love it. And for this, I am gonna use Elmer's glue, but I think tacky glue or hot glue would be the best. With clothespins, paint, and a few craft supplies, you can make some fun little things. So have fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed these clothespin tutorials. <laughs>